Hey, how's it going? It's Isaac Shade. Today I'm going to be teaching you Tim Hughes' song, The Highest and the Greatest. Uh, this is a really great song that I think you will enjoy. Uh, if you haven't heard it, you should definitely check it out. It's recorded in the key of B-flat, so today we're going to play with our capo on the third fret and uh, do some G chords. All right. Also, another thing to know about this song is it's not in the traditional 4-4 that a lot of the songs you play are in. It's in 3-4 or 6-8, however you'd like to count that. That'll be important here in a second when we start talking about chords. But first, we must begin at the beginning, which is where the best place to start always is, I'd say. Uh, and we've got a little riff here that we want to do. Uh, it's played on the piano on the album, and I'll teach you the notes to it um, so that you can do it on the piano, but I'll also teach you on the guitar here, since that's what we're using to learn the song. Uh, and it sounds just as good starting with the guitar doing that. Just put a little delay on it. It's nice and pretty. So I'll stand up close to the camera here, and uh, you can see what the notes are. All right, uh, let me play it for you one time, and then I'll talk through how to do it. All right, it's pretty simple. You're just playing four different notes on the B and the E strings. You're gonna start on the B string, 11th fret, and then you'll go down to the B string 10th fret, back up to the 11th on the B string, and then the E string 13th fret, back to the 11th fret B string, 10B, 11B, and then the 13th on the B, and then back down to the 11th on the B, and back to the 10th on the B. So you just do that twice over and over to start the song, and then the chords come in while you play that two more times. So one more time at full speed. Great. So there you go. The chords that come in underneath that, which incidentally are the same chords as the verse, awesome, are a G over B and a C and then a D over F sharp and a G. Now the thing is, uh, the G over B is held for six beats, six counts, the C for six, the D over F sharp for only three, there's the difference, and then the G at the end uh, for nine, it's the last half of the measure of the D over F sharp plus a whole measure of its own. So those chords would go like this. You play that lead part twice and then you come in. And that'll take us into the verse, which again is the same chords, <clears throat> but with the lyrics it sounds like this. Wake every heart and every tongue <clears throat> to sing the new eternal song. That'll take us on into the pre-chorus. The chords for that are a D, a C. G over B, and then back up to a C. Uh, the second half of the pre-chorus starts the same with a D and a C, but the change is here at the third chord, which is an E minor, and then a D over F sharp, which takes you into the chorus. All right, so with the lyrics, the pre-chorus sounds like this. Your name unrivaled stand. take you into the G which starts the chorus. So the chords for the chorus are a G, a D, an A minor, and it's a special little A minor suspended. I'll show you how to play that in just a minute. And a G and a D. And then the second half of the chorus is the same except you end on a C instead of a D. That A minor, uh, you're just playing the same way as a lot of other chords in the key of D, in the key of G, I'm sorry. Your, end up, your ring and pinky fingers are on the third fret B and E strings. 
And then the only other finger is your index finger is on the second fret D string. It's kind of a little A minor suspended, kind of just an easy way to play it without having to move your fingers around too much. So the chorus all together sounds like this. You are the highest, you are the greatest, you are the Lord of all. Angels will worship, nations will bow down to the Lord of all. Great. So that will either take you back into verse 2 or into the bridge, which is where we'll now go. All right? The bridge starts on that same kind of A minor suspended chord to a G over B and a C. So it's just walking up the bass, as you can hear, A, B, and a C. It's just an A minor, G over B, and C. So with the lyrics, that goes like this. Let every heart, let every tongue sing of your name, sing of your name. Let every heart, let every tongue sing, sing, sing. Let every heart, let every tongue sing of your name, sing of your name. Let every heart. That'll take you into that chorus where it's just the drums. The only other thing I need to tell you is that the chorus after the drums chorus, where the full band is back in, the first half is all the same G, D, A minor, G, D. The difference is here, instead of starting the second half on the G, you do an E minor to a D over F sharp, and then it's the same A minor, G, and C. So that'll sound like this You are the highest. You are the greatest, you are the Lord of all. Angels will worship, nations will bow down, the Lord of all. You. And then it goes back into one more chorus. All right, and then on the recording, as you hear, there's a little part that builds and does the thing after that. Um, I actually usually don't do that part because it feels like a second whole nother song. I usually, at the end of the song, will just go back into a quiet bridge, maybe pick through it, have the uh, piano player or the lead guitarist play through that lead riff. All right? So that should be all the parts you need to know for Tim Hughes, Highest and the Greatest. It's a great song. Your congregation will love it. The, you know, whatever you're playing for, uh, it'll be a great song. It'll go over well. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope this has helped. Check out Tim Hughes. Have a great afternoon. Thank